I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars, Aries. Now this week we have a square between Uranus in your sign and Pluto, which is in your solar 10th house, all to do with your business, uh, career, uh, your work zone of life. So it's a challenging uh, aspect and it's actually the second one of out of seven, which are going to happen over a three year period. The first one was, uh, let's have a look, was June the 26th. So I'm not sure if something happened around that time for you, but um, we've got another hit happening this week and it's right on the 19th. So it's it's midweek. Now, what does this mean in reality? Um, look, it, it, it's not always bad news. The square does say it's, challenge, it's challenging. Uh, it is going to, let's say, rock you out of your comfort zone somewhat. There's likely to be some changes and you may not be totally in control of changes. You've got Mars sitting there in your solar eighth house at the moment. So um, they can certainly happen sudden and you, you, anything that go, goes on with Uranus is generally sudden as well. Um, you want to watch how you react over this next few weeks or month because with Mars sitting there it can make you and it's your ruling planet anyway and it can make you just a little bit you know rash now the other thing that's happening this week is let's check when it is on the 20th so you know almost like together there um, there's an opposition with Uranus in your sign and Mercury in your opposite sign. Okay, now this is all to do with relationships and also on that day um, Mercury does square with Pluto as well. So it's like these three angles, these three points in your chart, it's like your, um, your own sign plus um, your 10th house career business and also relationships. So um, so be, be careful, as I said, the way that you react or overreact. I mean, whatever happens, you, you want to just take a deep breath and step back and think about it. Now, it's likely that you'll um, come out better off, but in the process of doing that, it's also likely that you may have to step on a few toes. It's almost like I feel that someone else's bad luck can be your good luck um, because Pluto is also, also going retrograde, um, it's stationary, um, no I'm sorry, it's coming out of its retrograde period, it's stationary on the 18th. So this is a pretty action-packed time sort of week. You do have the sun moving into your, your seventh house of partnership, so that's certainly going to uh, help. So, you know, be prepared for change. Um, things to get a little bit rocky, you know, sometimes you just have to go through chaos before you can settle down into normality again. And when things do get thrown up in the air, it means that you are progressing. So, um, as I said, the main thing for you, Aries, is just to take it a day, a step at a time, day by day, and, and you know, say to yourself, get used to saying the term, let me think about that. You know, try not to be rushed into making on the spot decisions. You want to, like, process it and sleep on it. Love that term. Um, okay, progress is being made. It's, a, it's an exciting time and, you know, I think that's the best way to look at it. Okay, have a great week. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.